Minecraft for Parents. Hi, I'm making this as a short guide on Minecraft for parents of young kids who might be new to playing computer games without adult supervision, may not have played online games before, or just want to know what all the fuss is about. Let's get started. Minecraft is an extremely popular game for both adults and kids. It's an open-ended online game world that allows the player to interact with it. The game allows the player to create in environments based on their skill level. Players can start at a small familiar place like a house, right through to more complex creations incorporating fantasy exploration into places like space and deep oceans. During the game, players harvest resources to make tools and use these tools for basic survival in the game. They do this by crafting weapons, building homes and machines, harvesting crops and making food items. The game has two main cycles that mimic real life, the day and night cycles. The importance of these are what you can do or what happens during these cycles that help you survive and thrive in the game. The online Minecraft tutorial has a newcomer survival guide that explains the benefits the player can use in the cycles and how to avoid some of the pitfalls. In the day cycle you can go exploring, harvesting which is growing crops or creating which is building your own world or environment. The big benefit of this cycle is that enemies can't spawn or generate, meaning they can't interfere or attack you during this time. At night time monsters spawn, which provide a challenge for the player. Monsters also have certain items that can only be acquired from them, such as bones, that only come from skeletons. Bones can be ground down to use as a fertilizer for crop growth during the day cycle. Why is Minecraft child friendly? The simple block-like graphics, including the main character, gives the game a cartoon-like feel. At its easiest level, it's almost like an online Lego experience, where the player can use both simple and complex resources to build their world. As kids progress, they learn the basic Minecraft functions, which is a good introduction to the basic hand-eye coordination kids will need on other inter internet platforms. The main character is randomly generated as either Steve, which is male-looking, or Alex, which is a female block character. The lack of overtly masculine or feminine looking characters that dominate games for an older audience allows you to play and complete tasks in a relatively gender neutral environment. For those players that want to individualise their character, like you would with an avatar, skins are a function that can be added and sit on top of the frame of the original character. They're not a Minecraft function, but they are supported by Minecraft and are preloaded on console and iOS versions. The introduction of a hell-like level, which is known as the Nether, brings in mobs, which are monster-type characters. A good example of a monster is a ghast, which spits fireballs can kill the player. The Nether world also has a roof, making it almost impossible for the player to know if it's day or night in this world, which is, reduces the element of certainty. The Void level, known as the Enderworld, is the introduction of playing an online game for an achievement. The Enderworld is always nighttime, which means players can't harvest and are subject to characters that may attack them. The benefit of the Enderworld is the giant dragon, the Ender Dragon, that can be killed for its egg. While this can't be used for anything during gameplay, it is seen as the end or final achievement that ends the game. So what are the technical challenges? There are hundreds of modifications, or mods as they're called, that can allow for all sorts of additions and custom models. They're available to download free, and many of the Minecraft online forums have extensive posts and updates about these. The mods are especially popular with more experienced users because they bring in a new experience by introducing custom themes for game exploration. One of the most popular mods is the Pixamon mod, based on the popular Pokemon characters. What's multiplayer? If you're ready to move to a multiplayer game, you can access free servers with mini games that were created by the Minecraft community. There are some great reasons to go onto the multiplayer platform like team play and competitions that change the game experience to be more involved and interactive. There are always reasons to be cautious about young kids going online. One of the biggest in Minecraft is the chat function. The Minecraft chat function is not filtered. This means players can say almost anything, whenever they want. Some servers do police chat, banning players who are inappropriate, but this is a local decision made by the server host. Pixel art. The pixel art building function makes it possible to scan an image and convert it to a pixel art recipe that can be built into Minecraft. Usually these images are fun, creating images of Nintendo's Mario or Disney Shrek, but there's not much preventing other less innocent images being built in the same way. Bullying. 
Depending on the nature of the server, it can be difficult to prevent users from wrecking things that other people have built. Oftentimes this is done in a fairly friendly or competitive way, but other times this can be aggressive and spoil the game for the player. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy playing!